Hey guys, you may remember my two month old video, Windows XP skips the welcome screen. In this video I show you a random computer booting up and it skips the welcome screen because it boots so fast. Now this computer has died after I've made the video. Um, the people who owned this computer no longer wanted it and they were about to throw it away so I took it home. I have the computer right here and as you can see it's working perfectly. Now what's going on here? So first of all I've spent a lot of time trying to figure out what was wrong with this computer. I couldn't find the problem. All I knew was that the computer worked perfectly until Windows loaded and then it would crash. The graphics driver. Well the entire graphics card uh, really. So this thing uses an onboard graphics card and that wasn't working as soon as the driver was loaded. When I was using the default Windows driver or a very tiny resolution everything worked with no problems. So what I did is I just forgot about the entire issue and bought this separate little graphics card. It's a low profile card and everything worked so I stopped caring about it. Um, until today, I've been using this computer a few times ever since, it worked perfectly. But, I found out the issue why the original onboard graphics card isn't working. I'm not sure if I can show you guys, let me carefully, let me put on some lights first. Um, there we go, that's better. Okay, so you may or may not be able to see this but these two capacitors are blown up well not blown up they're bumped this means these two capacitors are bad and I think this is the problem for the graphics issue of course I'm not sure about this until I've tried it but what I will be doing I will replace these guys some later this week or n next week, I'm not sure yet. And then we will uh, try the onboard graphics card again to see if it works. Hopefully I can fix it because then I could just take this card out and I will have a spare mid-end graphics card laying around. It's always nice to have because I don't need this computer for lots of graphics power. It's just a simple core to duo for now. I might upgrade it to a quad core later, but for now it's remaining original. Or well, as original as possible. I've put some more RAM in it. But 